can be really nice, and you actually can almost always steal Splitter in the fights, because it's the last spell you always cast. Because you're gonna stomp, you're, you're gonna Spirit, you're gonna stomp, then you're gonna Splitter. Tinker is still out there in the pool. Oh. So Nubi took three Our of Liquid's heroes from the last game, right? Liquid had Disruptor Omni ET. Are Liquid looking at the OD themselves? It's banned. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it, was taken, taken it was taken out early. Just made the sniper pick, maybe. Maybe we wonder about that. Or sniper ban, sorry. Sniper, one of the better heroes versus Underlord, because you just outrange. They don't have a good way to close the gap versus that. Nubi does ban out the shadow. Yeah, game. you gotta take that out. I almost like something like a gyrocopter for liquid. Ooh. Mid gyro? They've done it in the past. They oh, they have, they have. Uh, Nubi takes it instead. Wow, I, this is a good trap by Nubi. Works really well with the synergy of the Elder Titan. You need to be able to have that aggressive burst damage. It's also a threaten hero that threatens the uh, Underlord because they can't just run a PL like Disruptor or ET lane mid. Nobody doesn't have that frontliner right now, though. They don't have that tanky, like, tanky beef hero. The Invoker! Yes! <laughs> Alan's so happy. Oh. Oh, man. That's what I wanted to see. Invoker versus Omni, too. You can purge off the whole GA with Tornado. You have a lot of different you have a lot of different Okay. I'm gonna go that way. All Liquid. Right. Two out of two. Liquid are some of the kings of split push. They have so many ways to be able to stall out this game for Invoker to be able to take over. I'm gonna go Liquid. Let's panel curse it. Nice. Okay, so we've now had nine predictions from our panel. Eight of them have been A flies down. You simply just pop your sleep, wait things out, and then take the fight again. And I think that's how they're gonna utilize it this game. Uh, Similar to how Newbie does it, although Newbie usually pairs it with something like the Disruptor, so they get a very clean ulti. At the same time, they've got very nice lane matchups here. Oh, GH okay. trying to get a little bit low. He's okay, does have that telekinesis if need be. And get another Astro in. It's gonna get a lot of damage buff as it passes through multiple heroes. Crow falling relatively low, but just creating that space early on for, for Miracle to find that farm. Moment there, bottom lane, trying to make a bit of a go onto Faith as they drag him up. Kuro and GH just over the beat down, Matuma Man not quite able to close the gap to follow up there on that bottom lane. Yeah. And interestingly enough, Owen, they're actually going to go try lane Matuma Man lane, <laughs> which is something we don't see very often as Missile going to fly on the GH. And GH is trying to go in very aggressively there onto Faith, but with that Missile connecting, I think Nubi are going to be able to turn this one around. Who's going to fall first? Faith for GH, it will be GH as Nubi gets themselves first blood. GH will. Uh, so Kuro will be able to get Faith in return, but still, Nubi the ones to claim that. Play this much. It's because the kill potential simply not there as the Sun Strike flies on through. It's off point. Doesn't matter though. Liquid still get the kill onto Faith. In mid lane though, they are going to look to try and turn and take Miracle down in response. There's CCC and Kaka moving in. Telekinesis for GH to drag back SCCC. He's Kaka warm. trying to move in and diving in onto Miracle. The South, the Freya fight, not enough. SCCC will get the Lance in and will take down Miracle. Has the Sun Strike available soon. Does have it. Kaka going to walk into oh! it. That's, that's why they were cheering him as much as they were at the start. They, the fans know to expect stuff like this from Miracle. Well, it's Matama Man swinging around the side though. KP out of mana here, does have the mango. Got the vision, he has got that one mango for the extra purification, but as you say, Matama still with the magic missile. Repel is out, it's not gonna be enough to save him though, as they punch on through. Mind control takes down KP, same time up top. GH being chased down by Faith and Kaka. See if they can get this Rubik kill. GH dupes oh, himself dodged. away from the kinetic field, but there is a homing missile inbound. GH will take a bounty rune on his way down. Faith not actually letting his Jara get the kill. He wants it himself. Will secure it with the final right click from the Disruptor. Matuma Man actually TPing over to this top lane. He's now there, and with the magic missile into the Sun Strike, Faith is down. They've got a lot of setup liquid for that Sun Strike, so you can certainly expect to see Miracle try and get involved. He would have loved to get the kill with that, but a lot of space. The levels are there from two. Kuro oh. though. Swings around, he needs to net the correct one. Ow, he tries to go for it there, but SCCC a little too far away. And with the reaction from Faith, Kurt backs up. Miracle. Pretty far from his Midas, but that's okay. He's got a lot of different cores that can create space for him. I think that's why they decided to take this Matama Man Naga Siren. 
I'm talking about up top, Kurok. Well, the Astral on top of them. The damage is already done, so he starts the south going. He will be fine as he retreats. That's why oftentimes you'll see the pit lord. Only missile connects onto him a man, pops the stick charges, trying to get himself away. Moogie and Fave chasing him down. Kuro looking to control Kek on the side of the off point though. Miracle, he'll miss it. And with that, they'll lose Matuma Man, maybe even more. Stop the damage by Kaka. It will come through, but he loses his life still. This is two. Make that three kills almost certainly for Newbie. As this time Newbie, the ones to clean up that aggression that Liquid were going for on that top lane. They always you've got to be careful. This gyrocopter. It's just because KP already hampered quite a bit, so they're trying to Inlet. harass the core. Look at this, talking about harassing cores, running down Miracle in at SCCC and Kaka. Miracle trying to retreat, has the stick charges, pops down the ice wall. And that will be enough to slow them down. He'll turn, right click or two onto Kaka. To rely more heavily on Matama Man, who has been forced into the jungle right now. If you compare the difference between what he and Muki has, it's quite a lot. Absolutely, the, the duo core, this gyro has full capabilities on the hero. And here's the lift. With the setup, onto Kaka, immediately burst down. They could get one. Can't quite get the catch on to Faith though, as the connect field holds them back. And a bit of gold from the Sunstrike kills. And then we see on the side, Kaka and Mugi bringing in the gyrocopter towards this mid lane. They try for the stomp, not going to connect, but the cooldown slow will. Now chase down Kuro. Can he do anything to get himself out? There's the homing missile inbound. He will get himself far enough away that Mugi doesn't want to chase any deeper. Liquid are there. And Newbie realized that, so. So my man, though, he may actually end up giving them Newbie something for the time that they spent moving around as he pushes out on that top lane all on his own. And Mugi, actually on the way back up, still able to get something with that as he takes down Matumba. And Kuro might fall for this too. Did show up a little bit too late, and that's oh. going to be an easy double look, kill for Mugi. Mid, Miracle's getting dove upon. SCCC, can he get away with this one? He desperately wants. He's going to have Spirit Lance again in a second. He's trying to chase in. Telekinesis is there for GH. Dragging back the real PR with the cold snap. Miracle, he's looking to turn. He's got the Sun Strike. It's going to be on point. SCCC, he's still alive for now, though. Can he get away? GH looking to close the gap for the final zap. Still not know of damage. SCCC, he's got double game back one up in a second. second. Can he, he get over in this. time? He goes down. He oh, oh, misses it The RNG is against him. Gaben is not on SCCC's side today, as the illusions keep him pushed up on the high ground. Oh, oh how unfortunate there for SCCC. Timmerman has come down here with a haste rune, trying to get something done with his movement. He's looking towards KP. It's a hard target to play around though with the repel available. KP will be fine to get back on too. Oh, with a swap like that, but Timmerman. Actually finding the perfect setup. Does get a purification off. KP, not enough to survive, but look at the return fire. Here he comes with the cooldown. Glitch back onto Matuma, dragging him into the static storm. Newbie will take him down. They will get the trade there. Punishing Matuma Man for his over-aggressiveness. And sure, Matuma Man, he can go in one push. Newbie, they are there in large numbers, though. Mugi and Faith on the sidelines. Mind Control is trying to tank it at the time, but GH is actually the first to get caught out. Thunderstrike glimpse, dragging by the Rubik. GH, he's gone. Newbie, they take one kill. Now they move immediately back towards the tower. See if they can get the catch up to Mind Control. They do find the Echo Stomp, closing the gap for SCCC and Mugi to move in. And they'll take Mind Control's life as well. Potentially, no! The song is keeping him alive, but no, indeed, the repel on Mugi allowing him to continue to fight through, finish off the kill, gets the double, and with that newbie, should be able to finish off this tier 1 tower. Same time Matuma Man trying for the trade up top, puts the pressure onto the tier 1 there, but TP and will be from SCCC to put a stop to that one. Dust. No, it is a to it. They do get a bit of a mini glimpse with the static storm. They do trap him. But it looks like Moogie's actually headed up to Kuroki instead. Now, I'm not going to be able to bring Miracle down. Miracle will be fine. Swap back onto Faith. It's going to be Liquid who will manage to catch one of the stragglers of Newbie. Faith left behind. The rest of Newbie retreat. Actually, immediate dark rift for mind controls. He's looking to go up to the top lane. SCCC was pressuring in onto the tier 1 tower. Mind control brings the team up there to make sure that... But if you lay down the call down there, one or two black cannon hits, that should be a pretty easy kill, but instead, doesn't fully commit for that, and then they're gonna lose the Destructor, and that bottom call down flies onto GH. Caught out by the homing missile, GH all on his own. Newbie should be able to claim another as they dance around the tree line. Same time up top, they've got the catch onto Mind Control. Kinetic Field comes in, Newbie ready to chase down this Underlord without the Dark Rift. No way for Mind Control to TP himself out. He continues to try and do his best with the Hood of Defiance, buying him some time, but there's no way that he can outdo the damage. The purification comes through from KP, and Newbie 
starting to step up the pace just a little bit. And this was always going to be the case, as we said, with Miracle Invoker. Squid. Getting hard pressed, GH gonna get caught out here now as Triple C making his way forward. And GH glimpses back straight into the hammer of KP with the purification. Another quick pick off for Newbie. Uh, getting the vision Miracle. out to Miracle. He's gonna get stunned up. Have to go to do they have to detect the cloaking and they do. That's a big catch there for Newbie, taking down this Miracle Invoker. He doesn't want to be a part of the fights, as you said, but with Newbie moving in like that, behind tier twos, looking up to the high ground at the base. He has to be so careful with his positioning miracle because they have all the catch in the world with this. Oh, they can't wait. And look who they found in the jungle again. Oh, this would be back to back. With the quick setup. Do they have detection? They don't. They they don't. That would oh. have been huge for them. I mean, committing four heroes like that, I mean, you you, you got to imagine they expected to have the, the chance to find him. But yeah, Mirror's here. But oh, gets the repel off on himself. Look at this. Distraction made by Liquid. They go into the pit, Matuma Man. With that aura, with that minus armor, going to speed it up for the team. Will Newbie look to check it out? They did have vision up here, but I believe the smoke. Oh, look at that burn damage. Firestorm, so effective against the Roshan. And with Crow having sleep, they know there's no way. Liquid. Certainly looking to get away with this one for free. Miracle will join in. I'm quite sure if he got the last touch, but he might have there. Bit of extra gold is the bank of this invoker, if so. Yes. GH. It's being hunted, though. Moves into the jungle. Right? He's got the repel. TP out. And he's got the earth spirit coming in, but... And with the repel and the quick reactions with the TP, nothing they can do to hold GH back. Bottom lane, SCCC as well. Pushing it out. Goes for his own TP. Matilda can't quite close the gap in time to get that swap off. So, SCCC combos. And another steal. As the Rubik manages to find that Omni heal. This is why that hero is so good against his fate. Gonna run into Matama Man in the jungle hero. And they drag Matu back. There's no help for Matu here for the first life. Are they gonna see anyone come through for the second time? It doesn't look like they will. Liquid just have to accept that Matu's going down. I mean, the definition of, as you've been saying, how Liquid play. This is always sort of the plan. They are okay with Matuma Man being bullied. They smoke here, they this have dust this time. Would be the dream for Nubia if they can, but the tornado immediately out response. Holding through the back, still the glimpses there into the static sword. They have managed to catch him. Homing missile connects, stomp on to do. That's the kill they were looking for as Moogie hits the godlike streak, taking down Miracle. If they can continue to catch the invoker, Nubi can absolutely can just keep control of this game and mind control. He's trying for the Dark Rift out. The glimpse comes a little early, so he will still be fine with the Dark Rift down to the bottom of the lane. And fit. A newbie with a very deep wrap around as Liquid push out on this bottom lane. Yeah, and that's triple C. Here we go, looking for the setup. They'll pop down the spirit air, call down onto Matuma Man, who immediately goes straight for the TP out. The stomp's in time, though. Matuma Man caught out. The rest of Liquid trying their best to get away, but GH also being found by SCCC off the back of that movement. Newbie keeping himself ahead. Miracle. He's going to catch out Kuro. Yeah, here he is. Kuro, can he get out of it? He does have a song available, but he may just accept his fate. As indeed the speed that Newbie can bring down targets at this stage is absolutely terrifying. And they want to go for the high ground here. Miracle has the TP available. He's got to get back here quick. That's going triple C. They're hitting the tower. And have got the pin of Malice onto two. Quick doppelganger, Moogie. Keeping the push up. He's popped the flat, ca flat cannon. That's down for 20. Fortification forced out by Liquid. 10 seconds still before Kuro comes back into the game. UB still confident in sticking around here for this. Any sort of setup would be nice. Swap. They get the stop. They do get the swap in onto Moogie. Bring him back up onto the high ground. Repels there though. Static Storm onto Miracle to make sure that there's no follow-up. And with that Matuma Man, he's going to find the connection as he goes down. GH as well in trouble, but Kuro's there with the song. They need the setup. Has Miracle got the combo? He has the EMP. He has the Meteor and the Deafening Blast to blow up Moogie. They've stopped the push here as they take down the Gyrocopter. Good Echo Stomp comes through, though, to allow the rest of Newbie to disengage. Oh, look but at the chase. At bottom, they want to take a tower out of this, too. Three heroes immediately come in, but there's no follow-up. If they can chase this one down, they do have Dust on Kaka. Jump off Messi CC, but the Tornado! Miracle finds the setup. There's the combo! They're falling so down below! Telekinesis out onto Gyro, and Moogie's down! Miracle goes forward with the Bleak Dagger pickup! Cold snaps to set up a second! You can't go running 
into tight confined situations like that when Miracle may be up there on the high ground every time any sort of setup Miracle Liquid starting to make a little bit of room for themselves on this map they want to continue to move forward pressure on Miracle has all the items that he needs has that blink dagger completed wants to play very aggressively with it same time Stomp gonna con gonna connect on a mind control but no fallback but this time around they've got plenty of ways to deal with them and usually what you do when you have an Omni and a Gyrocopter is you just let the Gyro repelled up hit the tower. But they've got so many ways to deal with that because of this Naga Siren. She just pops asleep as soon as she sees that happen. Nets the Gyrocopter, everyone beats on him. He will go down, even without spells. Smoke up from Liquid. They're eyeing up Roshan. It is up and available. They do have everything ready. The song and such. Pinging around. Both teams might just collide here as Faith. His smoke gets popped. He's going to be on the front him. straight away with the swap into Magic Missile. They've got the control. Newbie now actually still looking to try and take this. Moogie looking to lead forward. Homing Missile onto Matumba Man. Without the disruptors, they really want to try and take this, Newbie. It's a bit of a Remain tricky stun. one. And yeah, it's just going to be a, a stomp and disengage for Newbie. No point in trying to force a fight. Forcing for a fight up top. Reaction will be there. Faith and Kakalu to come in. Matumba Man, they're with a swap into the Telekinesis. Sunstrike Rue holding Moogie in place. He gets the BKB out of time. Now they look to die, but the song is there. Kuroki trying to hold back the rest of Matumba Man. Going for the TP out. Gets clips to the side for Mind Control. He's there with the Dark Rift. One takes the back in time. Liquid, get out of there. Everybody alive for now. I mean, GH, he is being chased by SCCC. We'll see if he's able to get the... The gap closed, but they don't have vision up on the high ground there, newbie, so he won't jump forward. What a close disengage. But look at this. They know there's no song. They know there's no Dark Rift. Newbie want to try and punish. They'll run into GH, but GH with his blink dagger. Quick with the reactions. Jumps up to the high ground. They're desperately trying to find out these something. They will get GH. They glimpse back the Rubik. They'll get something out of it at the end of the day. But this is what we're talking about. The, the potential that Liquid have as a unit to just make it so hard for Newbie to get away with any sort of team fight. Now Liquid, they're ready to come back in and punish for losing GH. They look towards Kaka. Kinetic Fillers drop. Here's the Cataclysm. Why well, actually hit onto anyone, but it looks nice. That's going to be the Elder Titan down. Miracle's actually been taken out on the sideline, though. SCCC found Miracle. Took out the Invoker. Kuro and Matumaban still trying to fight, but SCCC and Mugi, they're going ham. Double kill for this PL. And they may find more. They've got their eyes onto Mind Control. They're chasing him. He pops out the pipe. They have the glimpse. Ruby. They've caught themselves a number, and they find it. Triple kill for SCCC. And what a play there from Nubi. That top lane dodge from Liquid. Nubi Just playing the role of the healer, kept him alive that entire time. That fight way too split up for them as Mookie now claims the Aegis for himself. And look at this. And they're going to hey. even find Kuro again. He has sleep available in one second. It. They do have the static sum if he wants to drop it. Kuro teasing around with the sum, but Faith. He has the static stop if he sees that animation come out from Kuro and he may not even need it. They glimpse him back, surround him and Kuro down as well. Newbie, this is the sort of perfect play that we said needed to come out from them. We saw it in game one and we're free. Two heroes down on Liquid. They have to buy back. Look at SCCC flicking straight into the base. We're going to go on top of Matumba Man. Doppelganger to dodge the combo. Three-man Echo Stomp comes out, holding them back as Kaka controls Liquid, getting the space for Nubi to finish off at least a tier three as it looks, as they will find it. They turn their attention towards the racks. Miracle comes and blinks out, trying his best to peel Nubi away from this push, but they're standing strong. Stolen homing missile, thrown back the way of Mugi, holding him in place, but the purification's there from KP, keeping him topped up. Nubi just continuing to relentlessly push in. Liquid, can they put a stop to it? Song's back online, and Newbie, they know, they know the big ults are there that they have to be worried about. They're starting to retreat. Sunstrike is going to be shared. Kaka, the bro move. Oh, tank some of the get damage from Moogie. They'll be of course done, and now working towards having that Octarine. We get a bit of pressure on, immediately blinking back, just playing as safe as he can. And look at this, straight back at base. Moogie, he's back up on the high ground. Gets a couple of hits onto the racks. It's got to be a little bit... Scared of the swap, but he does still have that Aegis. As you say, she's still there as well for SCCC. UB still wanting to use this timing. They know that the ults are there, but they're not too worried. Swap's going to be there onto the PL. It's on strike as well. Off the mark. SCCC repelled up, able to get himself back into the safe hands of the rest of his team. Matuma Man will survive for now. Earthsplinter flies in, but Matuma Man, he's out to the side. Not going to connect onto anyone. Commitment from Moogie here, though. As he pops the BKB, looks straight towards the racks. Jump forward. SCCC heading towards Croaky. No! He actually just goes for Matuma Man, but that's spirit lines. He gets it! 
SCCC gets the kill. They're diving deep for this one, Nubi, but they're getting away with it. Double kill for SCCC. He's going to have. Kuro pops the song, but he takes it off straight away here. As he knows there's no setup, he's got to just try and draw Nubi away from the base. Kuro's going to go down as well. Nubi, they've taken three. They move to the top lane. Three heroes down on Liquid without buyback. Only Mike Control and Miracle left alive. As Nubi, they'll definitely clean up a second set of racks. There is still a tier two on the bottom lane, but they could try and threaten for the game. Miracle comes forward, looking for the combo, but the connection there for the kinetic build. The stop as well. Miracle held down, taken out, and GG is called. Nubi take game three, bringing this best of five to a 2 1 in their favor. And what a game to do it as well. It looked like Liquid had the edge of the start. It was very confident. Newbie couldn't find the chance to get the ball rolling. But when they did, sort of that's...